Okay, now this is controversial, I realize, but we got to help you to understand the difference between what a fat is and what an oil is. And once you get that, and once you really understand that, I think you'll see that the, the idea of applying heat to oils is just a really bad idea. All right, here, here's an example of what I'm talking about. We're doing everything that we can to use oils like fish oil or flax oil. You know, oils that, these, these, are, these are oils that are in a climate where it is so doggone cold that the actual, the fish or the plant has to generate all of this oil in order to protect itself from the cold, okay? So that oil, when we give it to you in supplement form, because people take flax oil, we know, we've heard how great that is. Fish oils, who hasn't heard that fish oils are good for you? Do you know that they do everything they possibly can to protect that oil from heat or light? Because those things destroy those oils. Now, when I was asked, um, the reason we brought up this whole video, when I was asked, why is it better to cook in something like lard or fat as opposed to these what we call polyunsaturated oils? Look, the oils they're cooking in are corn oil, soy oil, canola oil, oils like that. They're not too different than these cold climate oriented oils like fish oil or flax oil. The last thing you want to do is go dumping french fries and onion rings into a boiling pot of that kind of oil because it's totally destroyed then. So the supplement is doing everything it can to preserve those oils, and we got restaurants with vats full of this stuff, heating it up to extraordinary um, temperatures, and it's just, it's destroyed everything inside of that oil. So here's what happens. This is where oxidation, you know you're taking antioxidants, right? You know how many, who hasn't heard of antioxidants? You're taking all these antioxidants, why? Because there's something in your body called free radicals. You're trying to counteract the free radicals and they, they're telling you that that's good for uh, anti-aging. Well, guess what produces more free radicals than anything else? Oils that have been overheated. They're nothing but a non-stop free radical generating machine. Okay, so let's, let's go back to this saturated fat lard uh, conversation. When you look at those type of fats, how are they when, when they're at room temperature? They're solid, right? And do you know that if you took a lard, butter, or a coconut oil, something like that, and you put it in the, the refrigerator or freezer, you would preserve it almost indefinitely. You know why? Because it's totally stable. If it's exposed to light, heat, or oxygen, it's very, very stable. If you expose it to higher temperatures, it's very stable. So what happens? If you take the foods that you want to fry and you put it in a stable oil like that, then what's going to happen is you're not going to get all that disease causing free radical damage in your body. Now as much as I know that we all think that saturated fats are bad for you, and that's what I'm talking about here, is that the predominant type of fat that's in, an, uh, that's in something that's solid at room temperature is saturated. But you know what? We've got to shift our paradigm that all saturated fats are bad and all these polyunsaturated fats are good because that is completely and totally not the case.